If you got it, it ain't a question Oh, it ain't no one for guessing No more than emotionally invested Showing you all my imperfections all showered i'm in the bathroom i'm getting ready to go to my spa date with fatima and blessing fatima's actually coming to my house and we're gonna ride together we're going to the four seasons in baltimore so yeah it's giving an hour ride um but we wanted to try the four seasons in baltimore try the four seasons in baltimore because we already did the four seasons in dc a couple times so it's time to try something new we're actually gonna do it again in the summer too since they have that like outdoor pool but anywho, did I make it to Ulta last night? No. Did I make it to Whole Foods? No. However, Raj took the baby for a walk. So they walked to Whole Foods. He's going to get her flowers for me while I get ready. So did I say I was already showered? All showered. Um, I put my moisturizer on. Peter Thomas Roth, Rich Beria. I have some bronzing serum on. Um, some concealer. Try to do a little brow. I'm going to line them up a little bit and get myself together but i'm gonna vibe out and not talk to the camera because i know if i talk to the camera i'm gonna be running even later um so yeah i was already vibing out it's uh yeah let's see thames <laughs> Hey y'all, we're all dressed. Um, I kept my outfit super simple, super basic because I'm going to the spa. I'm gonna take my clothes off and enjoy my 80 minute massage. But I'll let y'all see what I have on. So I have this really nice shirt on. It's so seamless, it feels so good. I do have on my nursing bra because I have to pump while I'm in the car coming back home. So I have my nursing bra on. So it looks crazy, but if you are not a breastfeeding mama, and you wear a really nice seamless bra this top will definitely give i have on these gap sweatpants they're so nice cream sweatpants yeah and i'm going to wear my isabel Marant sneakers they're so cute because they have a the little heel i feel like it elevates my look a little bit but let me show y'all what rash got for fatima from whole foods so first of all fatima's an aka okay so i told him to get pink roses he got two shades of pink and then he got a green bow so look at this how nice y'all this is so cute she's gonna love it's a little wet in the back um but yeah i love them i think that she's gonna love them hey y'all so I'm in the car. Oh, why do I look orange? <laughs> I'm in the car. Fatima's parking and I have her flowers here. Can y'all see that? So I want to get her reaction on camera. Let me turn around. God, I'm going to get flagged for audio on my first bloggy vlog. <laughs> I'm also a grandma driver. We're running late, so I'm scared. I'm like, doo doo doo. I'll get there when I get there. The speed limit is 25, I'm doing 22. I have this matte lip on. I love matte, but sometimes it be given chat. Chapiana. So let's see. Look at me. First of all, Miss Oliver slayed. I got sweatpants on and sneakers. <laughs> Look at Oh my God, sis. <laughs> reaction to the camera I just but also you need help yes i do period so thank look you, thank hold you. on let's put this down this is not a you got any in here what i, I do all this water in i have this. listen i'm so happy it's water and not coffee mm. these are so nice first of all it's, look at her isn't she glowing <laughs> she's also prego right now with her Huge. it's public information look at that the is out. how you so fly and pregnant mama. i Big love mama. it here <laughs> 
made it to the Four Seasons, and this is ballet. Oh, is it not? No, I think he's ballet. I think he's ballet. Do y'all see the weather? It's giving. And if you want coat check, I have a closet. I think I will do coat check if that's okay. okay let's do that. Thank you. Of course. We're blessed in the hometown. Be more, not less. Be more. Just saying, like, be more, more and not less. Not less. <laughs> it's beautiful over here. Scared. Baltimore. Yeah, it's like gorgeous. These are my girls. All right, let's go eat. What the hell is grated eggs? <laughs> I want a fried egg, please. Thank you. I'm gonna do. I don't want to eat too heavy if I'm be laying down. But I'm so yeah. hungry at the same time. We can't. I was a foodie though. If I lay down, I feel a lot of And people like, when you're breastfeeding, your appetite gets bigger. I'm like, so no, it does. I'm double the I feel like yeah. you do get more hungry. And I feel like I'd be like craving like just quant quantity. Like, I feel like I was purge eating last night. Like, I just kept purging. Like, <laughs> I'm, but just, you like, was I'm not even hungry. Like, I had to eat cookies and like, I would eat something until it was empty. Like, I'm not even it's hungry. It's just too. like, I just gotta, That's I gotta me. empty the bag. I like, can't believe it. <laughs> Sometimes I'll be like, Rosh, what's happening? In Real Housewives? Yes, you just get invested into the franchise. And so I just started, yep. like, once I was done Potomac and, and Atlanta, I was like, okay, let me see what these other ones are. I just started. I so just good. started by so Miami. Good. What network is this? Bravo. Bravo. Sis, what, what planet do you live in? <laughs> what planet do you live in? What planet do you live in? As far as overall person, I love um, Lordy. Like she's cute, but she got a good brain on her shoulders. She's business minded. Mm, I don't love anybody on the show, but I like the show. Yeah, same. Fine. Like, yeah. Like the storyline is fun. It's just business. I just like it. They look good. Is that a crispy egg? Yeah, I'm gonna have to get a piece of that. <laughs> yes. We love a good crispy hash brown. Yes, we do. Can I get anything for you? Um, I'm putting on your hash browns so we can catch oh, up with the hash browns. Oh, period. Yes. <laughs> sure. I'm going to put the perfect amount before. Yes. Thank you for bringing us together. Thank you for giving us the bond of sisterhood and motherhood. We just want to come together and break bread and then eat, enjoy fellowship. I said she, yes, Fatima, as she embarks on this new year of life. He bless all of us as we continue in our journey to motherhood. And just allow us to be free from any spirits of annoyance, irritation, anger while we enjoy this massage. Mm -hmm. Thank you for this meal. Bless it. And bless it. Amen. Amen. We're about to dig in. Thank you. What I've learned, and tell me if y'all agree, it's okay if y'all don't, that like men will never be women. Like we're just different, like no, different beings. Like the way that I do anything with the kid, with the house, they're never going to be like a woman. Mm -hmm. I feel like every time I talk to women, it's like a commonality between how their men don't do as much as them. Or mm -hmm. I'll be wanting him to wash the dishes. He gonna wash the dishes, but he gonna wash it at eleven. I wanted way him. Want him to do it. I like, wanted him to do it at seven. Might be half washed. Yeah, right. it, and it depends right, on what they're right. good at, right? So there's another side to it where it's like not expecting from a man what is not naturally like excellent to them like how do y'all feel about, about that naturally I feel I feel like like everything things, requires work like certain yeah. things don't have to be natural but it, it you have to that's right. how, like work how on big it. of a need it is and learn your partner yeah and to me it became evident this is a big 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 need for me i need affection i need curiosity right and to me that looks like you putting in the work on your own to figure out what's going to meet that need for her to have it in your interest to ask me like we do for our men we genuinely want to we genuinely want to know. know like how was brunch brunch wow. was so Thank good but speaking of the four seasons are we going to ride a bus we got on the elevator but how do we get on there with hi are you the concierge one of them well how do we get to the spa Thank you. Have a good day. So ready for this massage? We need it. Mommy, yes. mommy time. Mommy's fine. <laughs> Bye. This is such a good idea. 
I'm dying to get to salvation. I know. We gotta go to New York next year. <laughs> <laughs> I do want to do a New York trip. We can take the babies. We can. We can. We can. Y'all think about like Amtrak or driving? Amtrak. We can do it. Yes. What do you feel like has been the most fulfilling part of this mommy journey? And then, this what do you feel like loaded. has been like the biggest adjustment? If you got this, this, this is too loaded of a question. Too okay. hard? Um, I just love being a mom because I never really had that like fulfilling moment in life. I thought I was gonna happen when I got my ring, then I got my degree, then my other degree, then my other degree. But like when I became a mom, it was like, wow, this is it. This was the the thing to like make my heart whole and like I can't even describe it. It's like you set goals for yourself, and that's one thing. But being a mom is like it's not even a goal. It's just a being. Your entire life changes, and it's you can't go back to life before. And I never want to go back. I'll start with the most fulfilling. Okay. I will say being loved and needed to the fullest extent simply for just being myself. Being someone's mom is being someone's everything. I don't know if you think you're someone's everything, but you never will know what it feels like to be someone's everything until you're someone's mom. That's just been the most fulfilling part to me. Um, the most challenging part is the same thing. Being someone's everything is exhausting. Wow. It's easy. challenging, it's time consuming, it's pressure, it's overwhelming. So the challenge is finding a balance between being his everything, but also being my own everything. Mm. Wow. For, drop the mic. Hey y'all, so today was so fulfilling, was so beautiful. Such a much needed time of relaxation in mommy time with my girl. It's so good. Y'all, so we're at the food hall. We got hungry because after that brunch, we had nothing to eat. So we're back at the food hall. Y'all will see this place again when me and Raj came here to see Renaissance um, across the street at the movie theater. So yeah, little minor tacos. Mm -hmm. It's giving inches. Y'all see this? Get it to it. So yeah, we're getting some food. Then we're going home. I'm literally so full, I need to pump. And my baby is gonna be doing her nighttime routine with just her daddy again. And I'm okay with that. You know, learning, finding my flow. <laughs> if you got it, it ain't a question. Oh, it ain't no more for guessing. No more than emotionally investing. Showing you all my imperfections. Oh, if I 